I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. We just finished up this turn of the century star piano. We're delivering it tomorrow. We've had it for over a year and, uh, and it turned out just absolutely awesome. We've got, uh, we did a full, full rebuild. This just the everything, everything on our, on our list. This, this piano got the works and it, and it turned out beautiful. So uh, why don't we, before we check out the inside, let's, Let's get a take in the beauty of the restored turn of the century craftsmanship. Those guys, turn of the century, they knew what they were doing. Look at this. All of this is like hand carved originally. Of course, we had to hand sand it again to get it, to get it down to bare wood and refinish it. Beautiful finishes, and that is, I believe, the original bench or, or stool, I guess. At least that's the one they gave us, and it seems, period, unless they, unless they picked it up elsewhere, it, it's, it's about period appropriate. Maybe the stool might be a little bit before, I don't know. Anyway. Beautiful piano. Oh, and the uh, let's let's finish the. Let's talk a little bit more about the cosmetics. All of this stuff we've polished all of that up, make it look beautiful. In the lock there, new keys. Those another cosmetic thing that I guess that's also tactile. Looks beautiful. Polish this up. That's the the mute rail. We've got a, a decal on there, new replica decal. Not the original. When we sanded it down, we have to take that take that off. But it uh, uh, is, is uh, looks great. And this this veneer actually, we we did the full rebuild, and and the customer that we did this for, she wasn't sure what she was going to do as far as the finish. And then when she came in to check out the piano a few months ago, to to you know see our work on the inside after we had finished it up. She, we, we sanded down a piece of the veneer and she was like, oh, wow, yeah, that veneer is extraordinary. Let's, let's do this to the hilt. So, so that's what we did. And I don't, I don't blame her. I think she made absolutely the right decision. This, this veneer is so beautiful. This is pretty unusual that we, that we come across. I don't know, maybe 5% of pianos have, have veneer that's this pretty, if that, maybe even less. So I'm really glad she did that. This piano absolutely merits that. Okay, beautiful piano. We, we left this unfinished, because I mean, who wants to get rid of that? That's all original. Let's check out the inside. This is actually where, where the majority of the work takes place, is the guts. Okay, love how this turned out. The plate, the plate is all, is all redone. Left, left these finishes original, these little awards, just like, just like this one on top. But then, but then the rest of this is all, all redone with that automotive paint. We've got new pins on here. All of these pins are torqued to uh, the, oh, well, why don't we go see what Victoria is doing? We can, she's actually doing this a live demo. A live demo. Yeah. So, so all of the pins have to have just the right torque. You want to show us the torque wrench, Victoria? There it is. So there she is. How much torque we have there? It got tighter. It got tighter. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it should be 120. Yeah. Once you hammer it in. Okay. And it gets a bit tighter. Okay. <laughs> so so then, uh, how do you get it down to the 120 that we need? Give us a little <laughs> example. We ha happen to have. This process going, just kind of work it in the hole a little bit. So it was what, about 160 a minute ago? Check both. I don't want to move it all the way. Yeah. <laughs> it's less work when it's yeah. closer. So now we've got. There. 180, okay. It's not the best example. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> all right. 
<laughs> no, it's good. So um, all the strings are new. <clears throat> all of this hardware here, all of that has, is original, but we polish all of that up. And for those of you that are curious about how we do that, how we polish all of that. This is, this is not plated. This is polished steel. That's, that's, just, the, that's just the steel. Let's go, let's go talk about that real quick, how we do that. I know some people have, been, have asked me how we do that, get it to that super high polish. And that is right here, a little squishy. Oh, right there, there's one. We've got these, we make up a ton of these. We put the bolts in the drill press and then with the drill press running we start all of these are all of the different grits of sandpaper and just start with the start with the 80 and then move it all along all the way all these different grits of sandpaper all the way to 2000 and that uh, and that gets it pretty good and then the final step is to buff it on the buffing wheel which makes it Absolutely polished, perfect. So that's our secret for the for all of this, these screws and, and bolts and, and these hardware, these old original hardware pieces. This piece here controls that. It's kind of an ingenious. quiets it down quite a bit. That's a beautiful tone. Yeah, that's a dramatic difference. Before I really play it though, let's check out the inside. Down here. And there we have this beautiful refinished soundboard. That is original, but it's been repaired. The cracks have been repaired and then everything's been sanded down and, and uh, lacquered. And you can see just how immaculately clean this is. And uh, again, it, you can see the beauty of the, sound, of the plate here. All of that redone, all of this trap work, new, new felt and cloth, and, and this has been polished. Actually, we also happen to have Curtis over here working on a well, and, and we have Kurt and Curtis. Let's see what Kurt's doing. <laughs> you mind if we check it out, Kurt? No, no. This is, there's some rib separation. So this uh, soundboard is going to be pulled down. Yeah. And this, uh, that's what okay. So, so the ribs run perpendicular to the orientation of the grain, which is this direction. Ribs are on the bottom running this way. And when they separate, so he's right, right now mapping out where the ribs are under here. And then he's uh, putting them, putting them back on. Thanks, Kurt. Getting them glued back together. And then this is the next step. Curtis has done the same thing here. We've got beautiful repairs here where that's been shimmed with new soundboard material, new soundboard shims here and here. And then, and then once we, uh, once we fix those ribs, plug them, plug them with these, with those little plugs there. The screw holes, the screws act as clamps to uh, close that close that rib separation. This one, he also happened to do new new base bridge or, or new base bridge, a new treble high treble bridge there, using this mylar to, as as the old template. But uh, thanks, thanks Curtis. Right. It's beautiful. So that's the step right before the lacquer, and the lacquer is over there in the refinishing room where that. That soundboard is redone, looking beautiful. And while we're on the soundboard, let's check out the back. We can actually see the back on this one. This has been, this has all been soda blasted and cleaned so that it looks. Uh, Does that light come over any farther? I guess it's okay. So it looks nice and shiny and clean. Not bad for 100 years old, 100, 120 years old. Okay, then uh, so new hammers, good, good, uh, good hammer job. 
you can see it, all of these are perfectly aligned. You can put a straight edge across the top here, a straight edge across here. All of them are aligned to each other. They're straight, not, uh, none of them are, are askew. They're all facing, facing the right directions. And it's just, it just looks beautiful. New dampers, regulation job. See this damper regulation? When I engage the dampers, they all pull off at exactly the same time. No, no stragglers. No earlies. Same with the uh, same with the regulation here. You can see that when I engage the key, that hammer, they all come to within an eighth of an inch of the string, and then they pull away right there. They give that little pop, and the let off. That's the that's the reason that piano is a piano is because of that let off, also known as escapement. And then you also have the correct distance that you can depress the key, referred to as key dip. All of that stuff is regulated, and, it, and the touch is beautiful, and check out this tone. Sounds great. Uh, the player is a little rusty, but the piano itself is pretty sweet. The player as in you? The, what's that? The player as in you? Me. me. I'm, I'm pretty rusty. But, yeah. Anyway, really happy with how that, that piano turned out. I think the, uh, our client here is going to be really pleased.